Welcome back. Helping our homeless animals. Recently, the Santa Fe Animal Shelter took in animals from Las Vegas, New Mexico. When flooding hit, now looking for the new homes for these four-legged friends. They're partnering with Santa Fe Preparatory students to provide enrichment for these shelter dogs. We are joined this morning by the Social Media and Public Relations Coordinator for the Santa Fe Animal Shelter, Lex Gowans, as well as students Gordon and Alice Zang from Santa Fe Prep to tell us more. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you guys so much for being here this morning. You guys are kind of bursting at the seams when it comes to the number of animals you currently have in the shelter. You recently got even more because of all the flooding. Mm. Tell us a little bit about the current situation over at the Santa Fe Animal Shelter. Yeah, so um, basically anytime a neighboring community has any kind of crisis or natural disaster, our operation team immediately springs into action to be able to help. So in this instance, we um, donated hundreds of pounds of food. And then after a couple of days in conversations with our friends at ASPCA, we decided that we would have a transfer out of our shelter. So that looked like 38 animals that humanely left our shelter so we can free up space for the Las Vegas animals. And you guys, because of what they're going through at the Santa Fe Animal Shelter, Santa Fe Prep is, is also getting involved with the new partnership. Tell us a little bit about how that works. Yeah, so we just, uh, you know, we got a text from our coach one day saying like, you know, the shelter needs help. And then we just showed up and, you know, every Thursday and Saturday for the month of July, we went and we go at 8 a.m. and we just get the dogs, usually two people do a dog, and we just run around with them for a little bit, bring them back. Get them some exercise, yeah. some fresh air. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how long is this going to go on for? Well, we actually had our last session on Saturday, okay. so this is the entire month of July, but we hope to do more if we can. Yeah, we're hoping we can keep it going in coming years and during the rest of the year. And how much does this help you guys with your mission? Yeah, it helps a lot, actually. So obviously it goes without saying that our animals, they need this mm -hmm. um, mental and physical enrichment. And so we have our wonderful volunteers who walk our dogs several times a day. But since we have, at any given point, well over 100 animals in our care, you know, all the help we can get is much, much welcomed. So it's really, really helpful. And what has been your guys' favorite part of working with them? Well, you, you know, it's just super fun to hang out with the dogs always. They're always so sweet, so energetic. <laughs> um, and just to know that, you know, we're by running with them, we're, we're getting exercise, but also helping them get adopted. And where can people go if they want to help you guys out with adopting or even volunteering? Yeah, so for any information about the shelter, um, any ways to donate, whether it's uh, time or money or resources, you can visit our website at sfhumanesociety.org. And when you say resources, what are you guys looking for exactly? Um, all kinds of things. So uh, anything from toys to treats to beds, uh, whether it's used or not, you know, we'll, we'll make use of it. Awesome. Thank yeah. you guys so much for being here this yeah. morning. Yeah. If you would like more information on this initiative, you can head to our website, alwaysonkrqe.com. Stay with us. We'll be right back.